to thank everyone for coming here and thank the organs to having a great daughter. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the first time we met Pat, just a little story here, Debbie's parents were over visiting us at the house. And Dan called and said, I'd like to bring Beth Beth by. And we said, who? Beth. <laughs> and she said, and Matt says, yeah. And we said, well, Debbie's parents were over there. Which was really great because, you know, Debbie's mother always had to give a blessing for the new daughter. And she gave her approval after we met. And so she said, yeah, she's a keeper. She's a keeper. And so, uh, you know, thanks to Debbie's mother, we have Beth in the family. <laughs> so we really want to thank you for being part of our family now. And we appreciate it very much. <laughs> because what you went through with your five, bro five brothers, <laughs> it's amazing that you are still alive. <laughs> Seriously. So, Debbie and I really appreciate it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. My favorite daughter from California. Um, thank you. Would you join me in prayer quickly? Um, dear God and Heavenly Father, we just thank you for um, the lives of Matt and Beth and just what a blessing they are to not only family, but to the friends who they always make feel at home and part of a larger family. We just ask that you bless their union and just bring forth so many good things for them and their future family and um, just give them a great peace of mind uh, this evening as they prep for tomorrow and just let them enjoy this time with loved ones. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.
Friday night uh, discussing, I'm not sure what, but there were a couple of conversations. <laughs> <Kale. laughs> so we stayed up very late Saturday night for, I think, other reasons. Um, Didn't we go on a hike? There was a late night hike on Saturday evening. So, but um, one thing about Matt, and Matt's, uh, he's been a great addition to the family for a lot of reasons, but um, he's just very responsible. Um, which I think a lot of us need. Uh, I don't think it's just Beth. I think a lot of us. I mean, he's always the first one to. If there's a, a job that you know somebody wants to do at their house at one of our houses, he's always the first one to to pitch in. And thank God he works for Family Leisure because he's able to get us <laughs> on things. So, um, but but I tell you, I. As close as I was to Matt, I was never more close to him than I was uh, at the bachelor party in one particular instance. Uh, and I don't know if you've all heard this, but... Uh, you don't have to go there. I don't think you even know what I'm going to talk about. He's looking hot now. Um, yeah. so, so this was very late. Uh, the first evening that I was down there on Friday night. And uh, I think, I don't know, I think the guys have been drinking a little bit. I think they're probably <laughs> few, few years ago. But uh, this place that we stayed, it actually had an indoor pool. It was, like, it was a cabin just for us that had an indoor pool. And it was pretty nice. Um, so we were down around the pool area. And I don't know what exactly happened, other than the fact that I, at one point I was standing next to the pool, and then the next second I was in the pool, and uh, when I came up, I realized that Matt had tackled me into the pool, <laughs> uh, which was great, and, and um, if I didn't have my cell phone on me, it probably would have been better. <laughs> you had two cell phones on you. <laughs> two. Uh, yeah, so casualties of war. Uh, but, uh, Where you can't get cell phone reception, I mean, why, why do you have them on you? <laughs> You're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> two of them. Matt, you know, if, as only Matt would do, he felt really bad about it and uh, immediately apologized and came up and was, you know, was really upset about it. And, and I told him then what I'll tell you now, which is growing up in my family, uh, if Matt had not taken the opportunity when he had it to tackle me, I would have been very hurt by that. So Matt, for that and for a lot of other reasons, I wanted to welcome you to the family. It's... it's we love you, and, and we're looking forward to many years of celebrating with you. Thank you. Okay. I know it's really long, so uh, I'm going to wrap it up quickly. But I want to say to Beth, who is uh, not only the youngest in our family, but the only girl in our family, uh, other than my mother, beautiful mother. Uh, a lot. Most people, when they when I tell them that I have a sister, a younger sister, and she's the youngest, they they always assume that she was really spoiled. Which I think maybe by my parents a tad bit because she was the last, but certainly not by her brothers. I mean, she lived through things that I think would haunt most people's dreams. So, um, for her to come out of it and to have any semblance of, of a, you know, I don't know, of a rational thought left is to me, I think, uh, a blessing. And I, um, we love her, and uh, she was very. Uh, we were much older when she was born. I think I was 14. So I didn't, I think I'm probably not as close to her just age-wise and everything else as maybe some of my other brothers, but that doesn't mean I love her any less. Um, I do, and uh, I know she found a good guy. I know he found a great, great woman. And uh, we're really proud of both of you, and we're looking forward to tomorrow. So congratulations. <laughs> tonight and tomorrow. I know it's going to be a wonderful, uh, wonderful night so far and a wonderful tomorrow. Thank you, Christy. <laughs> I would second like to uh, uh, welcome Matt into the family, and it's actually kind of hard to welcome him because he's pretty much been a part of the family since Beth started dating him. Uh, this is a small fraction of the kids that are in the family, so he's probably been to 30 or 40 uh, new and <laughs> parties more than he would ever want to be. And as Craig had mentioned, he's um, always the first to volunteer his services, resources to the many family functions and projects, painting of houses, 
irrigation system in the Curry's house that <laughs> still isn't finished and, and moving. I think he's helped every one of us move with the exception of Eric, and I think he's helped help me move more than once, um, which I think has led to his phantom back injury that Beth keeps bringing <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually seen him be injured, but I saw him. he's growing, he made a mistake in volunteering his services that easily. <laughs> but Matt is certainly a selfless person, and uh, the thing that strikes me about him is when we were moving, I remember my moving through my house, we were all tired, worn out. He was still going 100 miles an hour, you know, kind of pushing everybody, and we all wanted to quit. And for whatever reason, this wasn't his house, it wasn't his stuff, but he's the one doing all the hard work. And we, and we appreciate that. On a side note, I've got some roof problems. After honeymoon, if you want to stop by. Um, Beth, for you, it's amazing how quickly time has passed. You know, you go back to your St. Pius, your Chard, Ball State, the many, many men you dated after that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and there's Matt. <laughs> no, but seriously, you know, as Craig had mentioned, we were older when we were born, but I remember I was at St. Pius in fifth grade, and um, our teachers, the entire world was a buzz about when we were out the first daughter in our family, because there were six, four, five boys. I honestly think they would still be having kids if they hadn't had a girl. <laughs> but, <laughs> so at, at the end of every class, my teacher would send me to the office to find out was there any news. And unfortunately, it wasn't until after school that it was news. But it was amazing to see the outpouring of love for you before you were even born. Uh, everybody here knows you as family, friends. And so they know that has just exponentially grown as you've gotten older with you know, the friends you have in your life, the family, the, the love, that the outpouring that people are always there. It, it doesn't seem like you, we ever go anywhere where you don't know somebody or talking to somebody. <laughs> um, you know, I know myself personally, and I can probably speak for the brothers, have you know, enjoyed, while we've tortured you in your life, we've enjoyed the, the aspect of being the older brother where we look out for you, whether you know it or not, we're always trying to protect you. And I was thinking that it reminded me of a story, and I don't remember, or an event, I don't remember the specifics, but... You were still in your mom and dad's. You were in high school. You were getting picked up by some gentleman caller. <laughs> <laughs> it may have been a dance or just a date. And I don't think I was even living at the house, but I knew he was coming over, so I showed up. And I'm not known for being subtle. And I'm pretty sure he walked in, and I was walking downstairs carrying a machete. <laughs> I don't know that he got you know, you know what I was trying to say, but I think it, you know the meaning was just passing on. And by the way, Matt, I still have the machetes. So, you know, the just let me know. Um, but you know, I guess th this is the, the time when we officially pass the torch to you uh, as the person that looks out for you. While we as a family will always be there to look out for you and love you, uh, it is now his time to to look out for you, take care of you. Um, I know you guys are going to have a wonderful marriage. You certainly compliment each other. Beth, as I've seen at many of our parties, you enjoy a good cocktail. <laughs> Matt, as we saw at your shower in my house, you do not. I'm like, you like juice boxes, so that's enough. Beth, you're a very, very good conversationalist. Matt, apparently you're good at listening. <laughs> No, seriously, I, I know you guys are going to make a great couple. Uh, I look forward to many more interesting parties at my house with you guys. So uh, here's to you guys. We love you, and uh, good luck tomorrow. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I'm going to keep this short. Uh, my brother's very windy. <laughs> Uh, those were, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Steiner, thank you very much. Where are you guys at? Thank you very much for that. This is a beautiful setup. Wonderful.